Hey, how's it going everybody? Coach Kyle here. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for future content notifications. Look back at old videos, there's a bunch of them. And if you find this topic especially helpful or interesting, please share it. Today I'm gonna to talk about an article from sciencedaily.com. If you wanna geek out, subscribe to sciencedaily.com. Uh, this is an article from the very end of October, 2018, source of the European Society of Cardiology. And the summary is that new research finds that higher levels of vitamin D are associated with better exercise capacity. So this was a study from Dr. Amr Marwan, who's an assistant professor of internal medicine at the Virginia Commonwealth University, Virginia, USA. And what they did is this study investigated whether people with higher levels of vitamin D in the blood have improved cardiorespiratory fitness. It was conducted in a representative sample of the U.S. population aged 20 to 49, uh, roughly 50-50 men and women, almost 2,000 participants. Half were white, 13% had hypertension, 4% had diabetes. Um, so what they found was that Participants in the top quartile of vitamin D had a 4.3-fold higher resp cardiorespiratory fitness than those in the bottom quartile. Uh, the link remained significant with a 2.9-fold strength after adjusting for factors that could influence the association such as age, sex, race, body mass index, smoking, hypertension, diabetes. So. Dr. Marawan said, the relationship between higher vitamin D levels and better exercise capacity holds in men and women, young and old, across ethnicities, regardless of body mass index and health status. For every 10 nanomole per liter increase in vitamin D, they found a 0.78 milliliter per kilogram per minute increase in VO2 max, which is a fairly standard common benchmark for endurance fitness. Uh, this suggests that there's a dose relationship, res dose response relationship with each rise in vitamin D associated with a rise in exercise capacity. So the one, the one problem with this, let's see if I can find it. Uh, where is it? So there we go. So this was an observational study and it cannot be complete, concluded that vitamin D improves exercise capacity. Uh, the association was strong, the, Dr. Amwar said, or Marwan said, uh, Amwar was his first name. Uh, the, association, the association was strong, incremental, and consistent across groups. This suggests there is a robust connection and provides further impetus for having adequate vitamin D levels, particularly in cold, cloudy places where people have less exposure to the sun, uh, like South Dakota, for example. I supplement, I have a supplement right here. I just opened it up today. This has 1,000 micrograms, or sorry, international units of vitamin D3 per capsule. And uh, I supplement my, my general one, uh, this is brand, brand new, my general one is uh, 5,000 IU, and I take that four times a week or so, you know, plus or minus a day. I don't take it every every day. But um, like it could be concluded that maybe healthier people are just outside more and thus they have higher vitamin D levels. Like like the like the doctor said, this is an observational study. So it's not saying higher vitamin D equals better fitness. It says generally people with better fitness or with higher vitamin D levels have that connection. Um, so maybe it's like, it's like people that brush their teeth live longer, but actually what is, is happening is that people who brush their teeth tend to have better health practices throughout the day, throughout their life. So it's not just brushing their teeth that causes, you know, longer, healthier lives. It's brushing their teeth, eating healthier exercising so it's the whole gamut of things and it's it's probably true with vitamin d as well but um, get your vitamin d tested simple blood test and if you're if you have low vitamin d levels you might consider supplementation 
And this is a, a future kind. It's a vegan, su vegan supplement, but it contains omega-3, B12, and vitamin D3. So I'll link below to that. It's just futurekind.io. And um, that's an option. That's the one I've been using. It's a supplement. Um, it's a subscription supplement. So I got my first, my first bottle today. But that's, that's, uh, that's what I have on vitamin D, cardiorespiratory, fitness, and um, you know, if you maybe need to, to get it looked at, if you're at a, a, if you live north of like San Francisco in the US, chances are supplementation in the winter especially, potentially year round, might not be a bad idea. So check it out, let me know what you think, drop the comments and questions below, and as always, you keep running, I'll keep coaching.